Okay, so next we have a live reading, a live reading. Uh, this was created by one of our artists from Trinity Repertory Company, a theater in Providence, Rhode Island. He was teaching Othello, and he wanted to not have the kids just read through the, text, the whole text. So he wanted, he, every day he created this idea of an alive reading. And the idea here isn't that you do a round-robin reading, you know, that where you have one kid reading, the second kid reading, the third kid reading, and it gets to the fourth kid who can't really read that well, and everybody's going, oh, please just get through it, and then the fifth kid reads. And the kids that, that aren't engaged are just waiting until it gets to their turn. They know where it's going to be, and they wait till it's them, and then they don't pay attention the rest of the time. So this is a way to kind of bring the whole text alive right, for the whole class. Uh, and so here's what we're going to do. Um, it combines reader's theater with kind of a more interactive reading. Uh, everybody take out your book of Iggy Peck. It's in, your, it's in your bag. All right, good. Um, so everybody's got their Iggy Peck, right? OK, so for the live reading here, we need uh, somebody to be the mother. Who wants to be the mother? Chris, you're the mother? OK, thank you. Who's going to be Miss Lila Greer? Miss Lila, Lila Greer, Stephanie here. Iggy, who wants to be Iggy Peck? Abby, yeah, that's right, Abby. Iggy, Abby's Iggy Peck. OK, so whenever they speak, you're going to read their lines. Pretty obvious, all right? I need an, uh, uh, an opening narrator. Who wants to be opening narrator? Yeah, OK, opening narrator here, Kelly. Middle narrator. Over there, what's your name? Stephanie, Brittany. Brittany, middle narrator and ending narrator. Kelly, okay. So we have three characters. We have the narrator. So when did the narrator switch? You guys decide, right? So you'll have the beginning narrator go for a while and then hand it off to the middle narrator, the middle narrator for a while and hand it off to the ending narrator, wherever that happens. The characters will speak when it's time for you to speak, okay? Thank you, are we working? I think so. What do you think it was, do we know? Line of sight. Line of sight? How do we improve the line of sight? Okay, um, interesting. Okay, so thank you. Thanks for doing that. Then we need some group things to do. So burbling stream. When we come to the burbling stream, what's a burbling stream sound like? <laughs> all right, we got one sound that's blah, 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 blah. Let's all do that. And we have another sound, which is what? Shh. Okay, so let's have this half the room go blah, 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 And this half the room go shh. Let's do it both together, go. That sounds great. Uh, when the bridge collapses, what are we going to do? Everybody slap on your, slap on your desk. Oh, I like that. Anything else we can do? Any other idea? Stomp? All right. Everybody choose. Either slap on your desk or stomp. One, two, three, go. Nice. OK. Uh, so we got a foot bridge collapsing. Oh, whenever we come to the word build, Show me a movement with build. We did guided movement. We can do that. OK, everybody, let's go boom, 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 build. OK, you ready? Let's go boom, 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 build. All right? What's the sound of building? What kind of sound can we put with that? That's I like that. OK, let's try it. Everybody? Whenever you heard the word build or building or any word like around build, we're going to do that in the book, OK? So we've got a lot to do. That's everyone, all right? So we got three narrators. We got people doing the, 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 the characters. And then we've got the burbling stream. Let's hear it. We have the collapsing bridge. And build. All right, that sounds great. Uh, let's do it. OK, let's go for it. Young Mickey Peck is an architect and has been since he was two. When he built a hey. great tower, Ignatius? His mother explained. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. But her smile faded fast and the light went blue past. And she realized those diapers weren't clean. <laughs> Ignatius, my son, what on earth have you done? That's disgusting and nasty, it stinks. But Iggy was gone. He was out on the lawn using dirt claws to fill a great space. When Iggy was his parents could see his unusual passion would stay. He built churches and chapels from peaches and apples and temples from modeling clay. At dinner one night, to his 
father's delight, Iggy got a bright gleam in his eye, and out on the porch filled the saint with his orange from pancakes and coconut pie. Not talk of buildings in here. Gothic or Romanesque, I couldn't care less about buildings ancient or new. She said in her lecture about architecture, that is no place to put her in grade two. That might seem severe, but she was sincere, for when she was no more than seven, she had great fright at the disease height in a building from college to cover. On an architect's tower of Young Lila got lost from the group. She was found two days later in a stuck elevator eating cheese with a French circus crook. After that day, it's quite safe to say she thought all building lovers were nuts. As a teacher, teacher she taught that above all, one ought to avoid them. No ifs and for them. <laughs> Round of applause, great. So a few things you can do with this with younger readers, you can be the narrator, of course, and you can give kids their parts and let them practice it and learn them and then bring it to the classroom, right? And then give everyone their part. Older kids, you can actually have them do this in groups. Sixth graders, seventh graders, give them, even if you're reading chapter books, give them a piece of the chapter, chapter, let the group figure out how they're gonna read it and do all of that 
and then the whole group presents the whole chapter, right? You, I mean, this group presents part of the first chapter, second part, of the, part of, second part of the first chapter, third part of the first chapter, and you get the whole chapter on its feet. But they've had pl time to plan it and figure out how to do that. So you can move to that level with the upper grades, okay? So it really works beautifully at every grade level.